Hey there, welcome back. So let's talk about something fun today. Even though he isn't in the show anymore, Mark Harmon will always be the face of NCIS. For almost two decades, his portrayal of Agent Gibbs delighted audiences all over the world. But did you know his son also appeared in the series? If you didn't, don't worry, because in today's video, we're going to tell you all about it. So let's dive in. First off, Mark's son played a very special role. In recent years, the show has sometimes turned into a wholesome family affair. Several of the cast's loved ones have a appeared in cameo roles. Among these are Mark's wife, Pam Dauber, and Sean Murray's daughter, Kat Murray. While in other shows this could take you out of the story, NCIS does it so seamlessly it only adds to the charm. And even Mark's eldest son, Sean, has been a part of the series for quite some time now. Since 2008, he's been playing a younger version of Leroy Gibbs in flashback episodes. So far, he's been in several installments of the series. His most recent cameo was in the 2020 episode, Everything Starts Somewhere, which shows us how Gibbs and Donald Ducky Mallard dealt with their very first case together. If you ask us, this was a fantastic addition by the casting directors. Sean looks incredibly similar to his father and is also a pretty good actor in his own right. He plays the character to perfection and honestly, we can't think of anyone else who'd do a better job. Next up, both of Mark's sons work in Hollywood. Mark and his wife Pam got married back in 1987, which means the lovely couple has been married for 35 years. They met in the early 80s via of mutual friends and tied the knot in an intimate ceremony attended by only close family members and loved ones. They have two sons together, Sean, 34, and Ty, who is 30. And let's just say talent is a part of their genetics. Their mother has starred alongside the one and only Robin Williams in the sitcom Mork and Mindy. The Harmon family is basically full of people who have worked in the arts at one point or another. Even Mark's mother and two sisters were parts of the industry. Sean himself is following in his father's footsteps and is a professional actor. Apart from from NCIS, he's also appeared in NCIS Los Angeles, CSI NY, and Major Crimes. But please, don't think he's here because of the nepotism. He's talented and hardworking and even works as a stunt coordinator to earn his stripes. Guess what? He was even involved in making Jim Carrey's Dumb and Dumber 2. Apart from that, he's worked on Thicker, Breakwater, and an upcoming Billy Zane film called The Other Side of Bliss. As for Ty, he's currently working as a screenwriter and has written multiple short films. Coming up, Mark very proud of his son. If there's anything you need to know about Mark, it's that he absolutely adores his family. Whenever he talks about them in any interview, it's very obvious how much they all mean to him. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, he was beaming with pride while talking about his children. He expressed he's very proud of Sean for taking his work seriously and the way he approaches being an actor. He added he wasn't just talking about NCIS, his son does everything with the utmost commitment. He also said he's proud of both his boys for getting up in the morning and trying their best every single day. Hey, it's really wonderful to see how much he loves his kids. Now, we don't know about you, but we'd love to see a sitcom starring all the Harmon family members. It actually sounds like the best thing ever. If any Hollywood producer is watching this, please make it happen. Now, is there any chance of Mark returning to the show? We know, we know, ever since Gibbs left, the show just doesn't feel the same. Yes, it's still pretty high quality, but our favorite special agent's absence is always felt. He was the show, and many of us are constantly looking out for a small cameo or something from our favorite character. And guess what? He may make a return to the show soon. When he left, the producers and showrunners made it clear the door would always be open for him. If he ever wants to come back in any capacity, they would happily welcome him. A few months ago, his former co-star Sean Murray revealed Mark is still occasionally visiting the set. He also said that he's not just saying this to tease fans. He genuinely believes Gibbs could pop up anywhere. So yes, a potential return may be right around the corner. And we can't express how much we'd love to to see him once again. We can't wait to find out about another one of his roles. Plus, we really want to see him struggle with some technology one last time. For real, everything about Gibbs is just so delightful. Following up, has Mark said anything about coming back? In a recent interview, the 71-year-old actor finally opened up about leaving NCIS. He said he's always been drawn to the show because of the character he plays, and he's always tried to keep it fresh and challenging. He expressed, Gibbs' fate made sense plot-wise, and he's really happy with how everything turned out. He also made it clear Clear, he's not retired and the character isn't dead. He just lives in Alaska right now. This clearly means he's not ruling out a return to NCIS, but knowing Harmon, he'll only do so if it's natural and if he still fits into the show. And who knows, we may even get to see his son again if they decide to do another one of those wonderful flashbacks. Moving on to some more related news. First up, NCIS season 20 to be the season of love. Steve Bender, the showrunner, has promised there will be a bunch of romances in the 20th season. Speaking 
speaking on Jess and Jimmy specifically, he promised their work relationship will be dealt with more realistically. He expressed they don't want to go down the same road they went down before, and this time they're going to dive deep into their dynamic at work. He also revealed that there are going to be other romantic storylines as well, and claimed the 20th outing is the season of love. If you ask us, that sounds awesome. Even though NCIS is technically a police procedural, the reason this show has been so successful is because of the characters in their interpersonal relationships. It's good to see that so deep into its run, it still hasn't lost the essence of what made it so special in the first place. Next, we may have seen the last of Denazo. As soon as Bull reached its conclusions at NCIS, fans started wondering if Michael Weatherly or Denazo, as you may know him, could possibly return for season 20. In a recent interview with TV Line, Bender was asked this very question, and while he prepared to be enthusiastic about the idea, he didn't seem too optimistic about it ever materializing. He revealed, when Michael first left NCIS, he made it clear he never wanted to do network television ever again. He just wanted to spend more time with his kids because the hours were so long. But then he suddenly got an offer from Bull, and he was working like a fiend once again. Hinder expressed, he believes Weatherly is on vacation right now and doesn't plan on working. Honestly, as much as we'd like to see Denazo again, we're glad to know the actor is slowing down a little. He's worked for NCIS a lot and probably just wants to do different stuff now. Finally, let's talk about the epic crossover. In case you didn't know, the premiere of the new NCIS season is going to be an epic two-hour crossover with NCIS Hawaii. Everything we've seen so far makes it seem like a super exciting event, and it kind of looks like a high-budget action movie. The two teams will take on the Raven together. They'll have to combat this frightening enemy across two different states. Unsurprisingly, this is going to be a very emotional and life-changing journey for a bunch of characters, especially if you consider Parker is on the run from the very beginning. He doesn't even fully know the danger that surrounds him at the moment, although we suspect he'll find out the truth about his ex-wife Vivian soon. In any case, the latest outing of the beloved show promises to be the most ambitious yet, and it's going to be a real treat to see what the writers have in store for us. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Sean Harmon is as good as acting as his legendary father? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye for now, and see you in the next one.